Rampage! We did it! We did it! Yes! Hey guys, what is going on? So, we're doing it. I made a promise to myself that no matter what, we're gonna get gameplay with the Fujin. I've tried this so many times over the past months and it is so difficult. So I'm using probably the best build or the one that gives me the best chance, the Havoc. And then I'll show you guys also clips of this Sinister Pulsar Fujin build. But man, this has been a frustrating run using this build or using this robot. So let's do it. Let's see if we can do it. And we are running a Regatka as well. So that's a bit fun to watch with the crazy speed. So we're here on Valley Map. We got our three Havoc. We do have a last stand just to give us some sort of chance if we get caught, which we probably will. Um, so yeah, let's, let's let's do it. Let's move in. And no matter what, we gotta do this. We gotta do it. Okay, I'm just looking. So we have a 200 meter range. We do have to get close to the enemies. Oh, we got a shield there. Don't want to move in just yet. It kind of helps us if there's a lot of chaos going on and then we move in. There's two enemies there and they don't last stand, so that's actually might be a good opportunity. Oh, he has it, that leech has his ability on. He's not locked on to anyone now. Okay, you know what? We're gonna hit our healing, we're gonna move in. Oh my god, this thing's too slow. This food dude is too slow. Last stand triggered. Boom. Alright. Jeez. That was risky. Because, man, this fusion isn't even that fast. You'd think that they'd make this thing a bit faster. Given how weak it is. But, alright. We get... Oh, a lot of enemies here. A lot of enemies. Triple kill. Alright, triple kill's not bad. Uh-oh. Scorpion. Ooh, okay. We triggered that scorpion's last stand. Rampage! We did it! We did it! Yes! Okay, I think the Rampage is the best kill streak we're ever gonna get with the Fusion Brawling. So, I'm gonna accept that. I think the Rampage was pretty good. Here's our Falcon Devastator. And one change, I know the Fusion can use a bunch of buffs and changes, but one thing that I think would be awesome would be when you go in your shield, it's a, it's like the airy shield with the Pantheon robots. So it's that purple invincible shield. And that way, you know, you can sit there with it, but you, enemies can still come in, blah, blah, blah. Whether they want to make it like just permanent all the time, ooh, we're getting ripped apart, dikes. Whether you want to make it permanent all the time or make it some kind of cool down on it. But I feel like that would really help the Fujin, you know, along with being able to move with the shield up. So here's our crazy regard I think we need beacons. Enemy team's getting four beacons right now. Uh-oh, Scorpion. We do have our Pulsars on here. I'm gonna need some help, though. Okay, we should be able to take this guy out. All right, boom. Now can we... Oh, no, dropped in. Jeez, look at that damage we're doing. Holy! That's a leech? How did we just do that much damage? Wait for his ability to run out. He's literally hiding from us. A leech with four weapons is hiding from our Regatka. We're taking this guy to school. We're taking him to school. What's that? Ares? Jeez, just two pulsers do some pretty good damage. Okay, let's see if we can push that far right beacon. Look at the speed! We can't even stay on the ground because we keep jumping up every time we hit a little bump. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I was hoping to lock this guy down outside the circle that we could, so we can still capture it, but he's in now. Not gonna work. Okay, um... You don't want to burn through our robots too soon here. Yikes. We're getting into our spawn a little bit. Okay, let's clear these boys out. We gotta move. We gotta move, gotta move. Ah, 
Okay, we almost got that kill there. But yeah, as I was saying, Fusion needs some kind of buff. Make it so you can use the shield while you're moving. Um, or just, you know, do something. Please pick Sonic. The Fujin's dying. It's dying out there. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, man, our teammate died before we could get there. He took him out. Can we grab this beacon? Without dying here? Oh, we're slowing him down. Oh, no. We were slowing in that falcon. We could have captured center, but then a scorpion got behind us. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Teleport, teleport, teleport. All right, here we go. We can help out our Arthur teammate. So there's four minutes and 50 seconds left. If you see what's kind of happening here, the team, the enemy team has three beacons, and our team's kind of sitting back. We're not kind of, we're not pushing forward too hard. So ideally, uh oh, scorpion. Ooh, okay. Ideally, what would happen is the enemy team is gonna mech out or slowly run out of robots to the point where we can then push forward. We can't let that bar get too, you know, too far down that beacon bar, or else we're gonna run into some issues in the comeback. Okay, let's see if we can push center now. Oh, almost. Oh man, this. That Ao Ming is just staring right at us. Let's wait for our ability. Oh no. Uh oh, now an Arthur's there. Let's see if we can help with our teammate. Behemoth. He doesn't really have anything that can hurt that Arthur. We should have like four Exodus. That'd be a deadly combo. If that Behemoth was running four Exodus or four Glacier, and then I used my Demeter as a shield for him, that'd be a deadly combo. But, not really working. Because he's got those four Nucleon. Ooh, okay. Let's heal this Arthur. Let's see how much damage we can... Uh, HP we can give him. Alright, nice. We just healed him completely up. Alright, Nodens is out of there. Ooh, okay. Let's see what their bot count is like. Uh-oh. I'm a... I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this beacon. No, no, no! Oh! So close. Okay, I think we gotta flip it on now. So we get two robots left. I think the enemy team's gonna mech. I'm gonna place my bet that they're gonna mech. We have no other options, so we gotta push now. They gained that beacon advantage by holding that third beacon, but I think they sacrificed a lot of robots. So we're gonna push forward. It looks like I'm right, because we got three robots left, maybe two now, and we just grabbed four beacons on them. Okay, there's a hawk, we just want to use our shield against him. Wait for it, wait for it, boom. See you later, Nodens. Oh, Arthur took him out. Boom. Boom! Man, so that goes to show you, that's really the strategy. If the enemy team is pushing three beacons really hard and protecting them and you can't find a way in, you should try to hold the other two so they don't get four, and then just kind of wait for them to make the mistakes and push forward. And that's what this enemy team did. They kept pushing and protecting the beacons and sacrificing a lot of robots. And now they mecked out, and we still like a full team. Victory. We Arthurs, nothing, nothing is gonna happen. All right, that's gonna wrap it up probably. Boom, all right, there we go. And we got a rampage with our Fujin. I don't think I can get anything better than that. That took me so many games to just do. 3.7 million, not bad, led the team, four beacons. Pretty impressive, okay. So this is with the Pulsar. So three Pulsars at that 600 meter range. And you see that guy had an anti-control module, but overall the uh, the fire rate is great, and you lock down a lot. I think you'll almost lock down the enemy every time you shoot, unless they have, unless you miss shots or they have an anti-control module. Ooh, there's an invader. That's a big target. Spider bot versus spider bot. 
I'm not putting my shield up just because these are energy weapons anyways, and I want to have that mobility. And that's why Pixonic needs to give it the buff. Okay, lock down the invader again. Like, just give it the buff so I can turn the shield on and then move around, just like the Jaeger. Alright, boom, that invader's out of there. And you can see, I'm not going to take this thing across just because it's going to get smoked. And obviously with this build, I don't need to because they got a 600 meter range. But you also want to make sure you don't stay in it for too long. So I'm just kind of chipping away here, or was chipping away here. Boom. I almost got that guy out. And one thing is, when your teammate has a bunch of these long range weapons, you don't want to stay in this build too long. And I didn't because I left it uh, relatively soon. Moving around, moving around, locking down enemies. And you can see they started to push her home, and this scorpion was really annoying. So he he was in the litter of the ditch in between, and then he'd come up, teleport in, try to take me out, then go back. And then we eventually got him, so don't worry. But guys, that's going to wrap it up. So that is the Fujin, and here is where we he goes back and comes back, and we take him out. But thanks for watching the video, guys. That is the Fujin. This was once my favorite robot, but now it's just so hard to use that, you know, it's almost unusable in Champion League. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Scorpion out. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time.